So when we're first introducing numbers, we start with counting. And counting seems pretty concrete, but it's actually abstract. The idea of numbers themselves are abstract. An apple is an actual thing, but being able to label one apple or thinking of it as two apples is pretty abstract. So we need to keep that in mind when we introduce that to children. But even though it's somewhat abstract, it's more natural than counting things other than objects. And I've noticed this with students going all the way up into middle school that some students handle word problems easier when we're talking about counting physical objects than we are with distances. And so part of the advantage of using visual models is we can use counters and then apply it to other things like number lines where we can see distances. But we want to reinforce that numbers are not just objects. They can be distances, times, um, and some even more abstract concepts. By learning counting, we're providing foundations for later operations like addition and subtraction, and even multiplication and division, which build on addition and subtraction. So counting isn't just about learning the names of numbers, though that's a big part of it. It's also about connecting the numbers and being able to count up or count down. Now the base 10 system would be the next thing we introduce after counting. Now we're organizing into groups of 10 and reinforcing that concept that every time we go past 9 we get to 10, now we're representing that with two digits and that this digit represents a group of 10, this digit reps, represents a group of 1. Once students have a strong foundation in base 10, they can work very fluently with, with very large and very small numbers, and they can also use algorithms well. When students struggle with algorithms, often the problem isn't just that they need to practice and repeat it more. Sometimes it can come down to a base 10 understanding. So that's always something to, good to look at if you're trying to figure out why a student is having difficulties. And fractions are another important part of numeracy because, as we said, they're not part of the base 10 system. Uh, we need to show children that they can represent parts of a whole, uh, but that they're also based on division, right? So 1 divided by 4 is what gives us 1 fourth. And so representing this is the same thing as 1 divided by 4. Again, they can be in base 10 if the fraction is 1 tenth or 2 tenth, but the, the thing about fractions is that you can change the base. And learning fractions usually serve as a foundation for decimals, percents, ratios, and a lot of other more advanced math.